Welcome to a short video where I will uh, explain how I got the internet working on the Atari ST core in uh, Mister. First off, just start your uh, core. I have a predefined setting here which I will load that has my image of my old uh, Atari ST hard drive that I recovered. And uh, it is quite easy to set this up. You do need to download the Sting application for enable point-to-point -point protocol, PPP. And I will show here how I have set it up. And it's important that you have some type of uh, control panel. I use X-Control that I already had installed. So we will not show how to install that part. At first I mounted a disk with the uh, files that I needed. I created that on my PC and uh, I can show you a little bit of how I did that. And I've downloaded the Sting 101.26 that I extracted to my internet folder. Here I had all my old internet software. There I have the Sting folder and in that folder you have the auto folder and the sting.inf file, which is where Sting will look for its uh, configuration files. And if you see there, you have a Sting folder that I have copied over, and also the CPX for the control panel. I copied over both Sting and Sting port to define uh, the port configuration. Probably you don't really need a Sting one because that is only informational. I haven't tried this that this much so. And there we have the Sting folder that I copied from the uh, archive. And to make this work we need to change a little bit in some configuration files. And this uh, changes are depending on how your uh, LAN is set up. This will show my configuration and I will uh, tell you where you may need to change. And it is here in this is the name server. This is my internal name server that I use. Uh, you may choose to use an external name server, Google 8.8.8.8 or something like that. Otherwise I didn't change anything in this file, so just saved it. And then we need to load the routing table. And here we need to define how the routing shall be set up. We will need to route our traffic to our MISTER interface. In my case, my MISTER is 192.168.0.79. So I have that set up there in the routing and I route everything to that address on interface modem 1. Now we are ready to start the Sting software. And this is probably something you would like to put in your auto map. I haven't done that yet. And that started, and now can do check the control panel, and we need to do some setup. Start with uh, general, and shows point-to-point -point protocol, and then we go back to addressing. Here we need to set the address that is assigned to your PPP interface, and in Mister it's always dot two five four. So that is a um, constant that you can use. But the network may depend on your network setup, so you need to check that. And let's try to ping them. We start with pinging our MISTER that I have dot 79, and we will have to wait 5 seconds to see if we do have contact. It's uh, 50 packets sent and 50 packets received, so 0% loss. And I didn't. That ping, uh, I don't think you want to game on that uh, latency ping, but it will work. And now we start the FTP program to check if we can connect to something. And the uh, FTP server on the MISTER is possible to connect to. I haven't yet really got the uh, the transfer file working correctly. Uh, I need to check if it is something that the 
uh, active or passive FTP. I haven't tried uh, any new FTP software. This is uh, old FTP software that I had on my hard drive already. But as you see here, uh, we don't see anything, but that is because root is empty. We do an CD up, and there we have a lot of files. When we look in the media, where we do have the fat drive mounted, that is not visible. So we need to enter manually that directory and change to that. So there are some uh, uh, minor bugs in this FTP client. And here we have a lot of files, so that works great. And now we will see how it will not work very great to do file transfers to the mister. So that is something that needs to be addressed in a later video, I think. I will try here to do some upload and downloads that uh, do fail. So if we start with put and send something to the uh, mister, just try to take something, a small file somewhere. I have a uh, logo that I would like to transfer. And unfortunately this is in a German, uh, German language and I'm not fluent in learning. German, so I don't really know exactly what, why it didn't work. I thought first that it could be my uh, uh, Samba mount that was uh, incorrect, so I tried to upload it to another folder, but uh, as you will see in shortly, it uh, will not work this time either, so I need to check the FTP config on the Mr. FTP server. It has to put the same file here, we will get the same error. And if we do try to get a file, it will also fail. And first this is uh, some settings that are wrong. We need to get to op options and uh, change the download folder because that folder didn't exist. So just try to put it in the E drive and then we do get. And here it will hang and hang and hang so there's something wrong with the, the receiving of files also but uh, we will try another thing when we have rebooted the machine and we need to do the settings again as I didn't uh, save them so that is something that you need to ensure that you do either you need to reconfigure every time you start or you need to save your settings when I started uh, playing around with uh, Sting, I was uh, caught up in the uh, dialer program that I thought I needed to use to connect to the uh, mister, but you don't need to go into that program as you don't uh, have any modem. And here I show that, that where I see my uh, IP information for my mister. And here is the settings for the UART mode, connection PPP and uh, baud rate 90,200. That is unfortunately the highest speed you can use right now. I think it should be possible to run uh, uh, the uh, Sting over the MIDI port, so maybe that is something someone can look into if that will be possible to do. And now I'm tired of waiting, so I'm trying to uh, stop this transfer, but unfortunately it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't work. So let's reset everything and start over again. And you can see once again how I configure the uh, Sting interface. And here you see I have X control at startup. And if you try to do the configuration in the control panel before you have started the Sting, it will not open. Just doesn't really open at all, just fails. You don't get an error message or something like that. So it's a little bit tricky to know exactly why. So put the uh, sting in your auto folder if you are running internet. Does. And we do the portrait up again. We do the addressing general, point to point. We do the addressing, which is modem one. We put the IP address that we have from our mister. 
and we make it active and we do a reload of the routing table I think I do that every time time to ensure that it gets loaded correctly and now we can try to do another file transfer and in this case I will connect to a public FTP server the ftp.sunet.se which is the Swedish University Network and we do open that and here we use anonymous FTP it's come correct spelling and just type something in the password and now it has done DNS resolving so it knows exactly what the IP is and we do see every file here correctly it looks very really good and let's try to get the robots.txt and we will get some error because uh, the setting is not saved so we need to change where to save the file and now we take get on that and we will see that it has transferred so this was a small file so it uh, was quite uh, fast and when you quit the MBFTP you need to wait a little bit because it's doing something in the background and keep just pushing the OK so and if we do look at the hard drive E we do have robots.txt and it is a Unix format it's so uh, not that uh, nice to look at but at least we have transferred the file correctly so that is how you get internet working on your Atari ST core in the mister okay so I'm using the MSA converter to create a new disk the blank disk that we have just uh, created here with the uh, default settings and I call it ppp1 and then I have my downloaded files and it is the sting archive that I'm copying over and then I also have the serial uh, driver that could be needed and then just save it and then you can copy the uh, dot st file over to you mister and uh, attach it to your core subscribe to daniel of many trades if you like the content